Lo siento, guys. Al parecer se me fue la luz. <laughs> y pues, <laughs> ni modo. I'm so sorry, guys. I am having <laughs> a lot of technical issues. I was speaking in the middle. I was, ah, it are two people are more than one and start before, after two. After one, beginning on two, are people. Remember that. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm truly sorry for that, but I, I will do in my best effort in order to, to do my best right now. And just give me a second right now. I need to verify another stuff. Mm -hmm. My system is still loading. We will do right now the assessment that we have pending. Okay, can you see the screen, guys? Yes. Okay, this is an example. Look at this. She goes to class, she takes the bus, she works, she studies, and she gets up. If you can see right now, sorry, right there, you will be able to see that are not in order are mixes. Why? Because the main reason of this test is reading and try to find, ah, Brittany get up. This is the first activity that she do, she does in a daily routine. That's mean, ah, number one. She goes to class. What's the number of the activity? Continue reading and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. They have a job in the library. So when do you study? Me, my only time to study is in the evening. This is the last one, the last activity. She studies. She goes to classes is the third one. What was the first, the first of two? Gets she get ups and take the bus. Okay, we will do the next one, guys. Uh, I will choose right now, Mario, if you can help me, you will be Mike and Hugo. Can you help me? You will be Joshua. I need that you read those parts. I will make bigger. Just a second. Okay, let me know when you will be ready, guys. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, remember, Mario, you are Mike. Hugo, you are Joshua. Start. What's your schedule like? You are a mute, Hugo, yes. Well, I get out at uh, 16. Six. 6.30 o'clock. No, it's just oh. 6.30 a.m. Okay. I'm, I'm going go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? Mm -hmm. Continue, Josh. Come on, Hugo. You can do it. You are the next one. Are you on mute? Okay. Mm -hmm. I work, I work at home. I start work at 18 around 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, okay. Uh, uh, advertisement, guys. Nosotros ocupamos el o'clock cuando son las en punto. That's it. O'clock en punto. Pero qué pasa si son las 8 y 1? No, it's not o'clock. It's 8 and 1 minute. Remember that. O-O means o'clock, but what about 6.30? No, ya pasaron 30 minutos. It's six and a half or 6.30 minutes. Continue, Joshua. Sorry to 
to interrupt you. At eight o'clock and then? Around one o'clock. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work at night to finish project. Clap for them, please. They did a great job. I like it. Me encantó. Excelente, guys. Ahora vamos con otro. Okay. He has a breakfast. This is the activity number? Two. Three. Three. That's right. Number three. Why? Because first of all, he get up. Get up. Then? Run. He goes for a run. Okay. Run. He start to work. What number is? Four. 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 What about he eats dinner? Five. Five. This one, he gets up. One. 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 And the last one, number two. Two. Okay. I will need a rock star. Let me verify who will be my participants here. It's, oh my God, oh, we are almost guys here, but it's the turn of the ladies. Okay, Ada, you will be Mike and Eunice, you will be Maya. Can you help me reading this? I am Maya. Yes, you are Maya and Ada will be Mike. Okay. Start when you are ready. Okay. Uh, what's your uh, wasting pronunciation on schedule? Schedule. Schedule. Okay. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 o'clock and I play until 3. 3 a.m. o'clock. Uh, parenthesis. 3 o'clock a.m. Oh, 3 o'clock a.m. And the, and the other one is 10 o'clock p.m. Don't forget that. Uh, the American people or the English people that can speak English or the native language is English. Don't use, ah, oh, it's Three de la tarde, afternoon three. No, they said 3 p.m. That means afternoon. And 10 a.m. it's morning, always. Continue, please. Okay, what do you do after work? I have a dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to the bed? I go to bed at the five o'clock in the morning. That's right. Clap for them, for her guys. And for them, for both, claps for them. You did a great job. Right now, it's time to answer. She has a dinner. The number of this action is? Three. Are you sure? It's four. Mm, three. <laughs> okay. It's okay. three. Number, number three. And she finished work. It's two. It's two. She goes to bed. Five. It's five. She goes to work. It's one. It's one. Yeah. She goes home. 
Four. It's four. 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 Congratulations, guys. You did wow. a great job. Right now, we will do the next one. Maybe you already know about this. Just give me a second. Come on, come on, come on, insert. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Hey, yeah, that's right. Yes. Okay, in this lesson, we will talk about place. Maybe some of you remember this. Do you remember, guy? Lo recuerdan, chicos? Recuerdan esta clase? No. When was a child? That's right. But this is a class, it's about vocabulary house and apartments. I prepared this one in order to help into you. What are the part of a house? But today we don't know, we don't want to know how is a uh, American house. We are talking about a Salvadorian house. We are we will talk about the rooms that we have it. For example, how many bedrooms has your house? I I need a volunteer, Francisco. How many bedrooms has your house? Um my house house have three bedrooms. That not that's right. It's it's nice right now. Let me ask him to you. What is this place? Is a bedroom? Which number? Um, number. <gasps> wow. It's easy, guys. Number number four. Number four. Is this one? Yeah. No. no. So number no. two. The number no. two is this one. Yes. Aquí un tocador. This is the bed. And this is like a, a cabinet. The number five is a nursery room. Es como el cuarto para la bebé. Oh. Donde se le da de amamantar a los niños. Es cosa más implementada en Estados Unidos for that reason uh, it's not so important the same of the number one the attic is a part of is the space between the roof and the and the second floor or the first floors right now guys um, what's the living room Six. Yes. Uh, Number ten. This one is the basement. But the basement you can place uh, some some people place like a little bar or a special place to stay or spend time. Como el sótano, algo así. Mm -hmm. El basement, esto es el basement. Todo esto es el basement. Todo, porque aquí está la tierra. Todo esto que está aquí abajo es un basement. Con la única diferencia que esta, el número 10, es como una estancia que tienen para las familias. Ya han escuchado la palabra de men cave o cueva de hombres. No. Yes. En películas. Eh. Let me show you what is a men cave. Yo sé que suena sexista, pero estos son cuevas de hombres. Look at this. 
are placed with a sport a stuff, a little bar. Also, uh, some people use video games there or in room teacher. Este es el es una main cave. Es lo que está en el vocabulario que les mostré que viene siendo la número 10. Es esta. But, but is this says basement, but the basement is all under the ground in the house. Under. O sea, el basement es el sótano, lo que está abajo de las casas. La mayoría de casas tiene sótano en Estados Unidos por los tornados, and that is the basement. But most of them create main cave, que es como en una habitación es como esta, que tiene una mesa de billar, y pues, cosas así. But what about, what's the name of the number 11? Teacher, uh, the, the screen change. Doesn't change. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, thank you. Okay, this one, it's like a basement. Lo siento, estaba explicando la imagen esta. Basement es todo lo que está debajo de la casa, todo. Pero la número 10, en específico, aquí le pusieron basement, pero es una main cave. Con muchas partes, como en Texas, se ocupa este tipo de casas con un basement y hacen como una pequeña estancia mientras pasan huracanes. Son ocupados como refugios para huracanes. But right now, I would like to know what's the name of the number 11? Garage. And the eight? Kitchen. That's right. And the number three? The bathroom. 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 Thank you, guys. Right now. Oh, just give me a second. We'll continue with this part. We will learn about the simple presence in order to speak about stuff. I will play this video, guys. Teacher, I not listen. Los demás tampoco escuchan. No, no, teacher. Ah. No, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's get started by listening to it. What about now? Hi, everyone. In yes. this class, you learn yes. how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. 
when responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes he does or negative by saying no he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys, do you have any question about the video? Uh -huh, guys, uh, some questions about that. Okay, I will show you guys right now this one. Yes or no questions. Okay, this is simple present. Somebody knows oh, how you ever listen about simple present? Alguna vez escucharon sobre simple present? Yes. El simple. The last. Mm -hmm. The last. The last class. We talk about no. the simple present. Okay, the simple present, it's in order to describe guys uh, actions and also statements present. For example, do you, uh, do you study? Yes, I do. Oh, yes, we do. Does he a doctor? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. This is the way in order to answer short or short questions in simple present. But it, right now, ahorita solo enfoquémonos en los primeros dos. Just pay attention in the first two because Right now, just do and does, we will help us. The can, have, has, will, are, where, where, was, did, will be later. Just remember, all the questions for sure or yes or no question will be, yes, first of all, comma, subject, and, and the auxiliary verb. If you are, are making a question with do, you, the answer that you, re, you have to receive is do. Okay, guys, right now, oh, this is later. We will continue with the assessment. Just give me a second.
right now. It's time to practice to making questions. Linda is asking for you. Uh -huh. What would be here? Do, do light. Do live. Do light or do live? Do live. Do live. Why? Because the subject is you. Because, because you and, and not her. Yes. And remember, just does is for he, she, it. Another rule is the next one. This does and lives is not the correct answer when we are talking about third person. Chicos, cuando ocupen does, el verbo tiene que ir in base form. No tiene que ir agregado es. Remember that because the auxiliary verb is changed. If this change, the other one doesn't change. Right now, no. No, I don't leave. Don't leave. What do you think the other one? Repeat after me. No, I don't. I live in a house. No, no, no I, don't. I don't. I live in a house. I live in the house. Nice. Again, Linda is asking. Does, does live? No, I don't. Don't live. A key, it is one of those. Do have. Does. Or does have? Does. Does live. Does have. Ha this one? Yes. Four. Number four, has okay. Lead. Or has Linda? No. And then, eh, vamos en la de Linda. No. And, and the Linda is does have. Remember, the third person must have, it has. It's not this one, it's has. But in this case, el verbo auxiliar está haciendo el cambio. Cuando eso es el cambio, el otro no. Remember that. Does have. Chris, yes. Does. Linda, that's so nice. Do live. Live. Live, live, sorry. Don't worry, it's okay. Don't worry, don't, don't say sorry. Aquí estamos para equivocarnos. Recuerden, nosotros caemos para aprender a levantarnos, dijeron por ahí. Así es que, siguiendo, no. No hay. Don't live. With my family. That sounds nice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do hate. Do hate or do what? Hate. Have. Repeat after me. Have. 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 That's right. In that way. Have. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes. Does have. ¿Qué dicen los demás? ¿Están de acuerdo con esto? Do. Do, do has or, do, or does have? Which one? Which of those? Do, do what? Do have. Do have. Do nice. Have. Next one. Really? Do hate. Does hate. Do hate. Do hate. Do hate. Does hate. Remember, it's it. It's third person. For that reason, it's does. 
And because we already use does, we cannot use the verb to be in third person. Uh, sorry, the verb in third person. Si ocupamos das, no podemos ocupar el otro verbo en, en verbo en tercera persona. No, recuerden, si está das, el otro verbo no cambia. Aquí es das have. Yes. Yes. Does, does have. Do, do. Okay, is does. One of those. ¿Cuál de estos? Or have. Are you sure? No, it's not this, it's this one. Why? Porque aquí hay algo importante. A period. And remember, when we end a sentence, we always place period. This is the answer. No, it does. Oh, sorry, yes, it does. It has four. Él respondió la pregunta que le hicieron sobre la casa, si tenía muchos uh, cuartos. Sí, le dijo, sí tiene. Pero en adición a eso, agregó extra information. Sí, sí. Yes? No. Uh, no, go ahead. Let me know. La question, de Chris. Eh, en, en la plataforma de nosotros aparece, yes, I am ready. Really lucky. I am really lucky. Yes. Aquí está, es la última. ¿Ve? No hemos llegado ahí todavía. Ya llegaremos. Okay. Yeah. Ya dos más. Linda. Es asking. ¿Mm? Do, do or hate. That. Do hate. Have. Remember, have. Do you have? Yes. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes. I? I do. I do. Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Look at this. You are perfect guy. 34%. Next one. Hey, teacher. Yes. Sorry, uh, what's the word you say, Piero? Uh, by the. Uh -huh. Es el signo de exclamación. Punto. Period. Ah, uh, yeah. Period es punto. Uy, es punto de. Es punto normal. Period. Uh, no sé por qué apareció eso, señores. Quizás porque lo ponen como periodo. Period, gramaticalmente hablando, es esto. Y sería como punto final o punto y aparte. Es solo un punto. Es just period. A period. Es, allá en Estados Unidos, en la gramática, existe obviamente los símbolos. Eh, gramaticales como punto, period, semicolon, coma, colon, and uh, what's the name of this? Exclamation mark, question mark, and the other one is, I don't remember exactly the name of the three dots or the three periods together. But when we are talking about, cuando estamos hablando, de escritura o de gramática, es period. Of. Te voy a averiguar lo del final period, pero yo tengo entendido que just with period. No hay diferencia entre punto seguido y punto final. ¿Otra pregunta? Chicos. Chicos. Oh, clear. Ah, 
Lo siento, Ay. creí, como no me respondían, creí que se les había, se me había ido el Inter otra vez. No. No me dejen así, por favor. Eh, veamos. Muy bien. Eh. Ah, muy bien, Enice, no se preocupe, si está teniendo mala conexión, apague su cámara y siga participando vía chat. Igual, si alguien tiene algún inconveniente con el internet, apaguen la cámara y haga el micrófono también y háganlo vía chat. Eso es solo por este día porque estamos teniendo muchas dificultades técnicas, menos en la especial y en mi zona lo han habido. Ahora, vamos a seguir con lo siguiente. Con esto. Right now, in this lesson, we already, uh, we lost this. A furniture. Right now we are in this part. We are learning about furniture vocabulary. Let me show this one. What's the meaning of furniture? Of furniture. Muebles. That's right. Who has a bed? ¿Quién tiene una cama? Who has a bed? The bedroom. No, I'm not speak, I am not asking for the place. Listen. All the Who? Who? Everyone. The bedroom. Everyone. Not everyone. In these kind of cases, remember uh, the homeless people. They doesn't have bed. <laughs> the homeless okay. uh, are people who lives in the streets. Homeless. Or in these kind of cases, the answer is, I have a bed, or my family and I has have beds. Also, who do you know what is this? A carpet? Alfombra. Carpet. It's alfombra. Right now, curtains. Curtains. Repeat after me. Curtains. Curtains. A carpet. A carpet. A bed. A bed. A lamp. A lamp. A, lamp. A cooker. A cooker. A, cooker. A cupboard. A cupboard. A cupboard. A table. A table. A chair. A share. A share. A sofa. A sofa. A sofa. A sofa. Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Armchair. 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 Chair. The sea. Chair. A rock. Have oh, oh, oh. And a desk. A desk. A desk. A desk. Well, guys, right now we'll do a little assessment. And is it's not this. It's this one. We will watch a video. And after that, we will answer this one. It's short, really short. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Reading. 
two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, guys. It's time. It's time, time, time. Okay. Read the text from the list. Select the correct article from each house. You don't need to tie in the the period at the end. Period. Respondiendo usted también alguna pregunta que me preguntó sobre los periods. La palabra period también es ocupada para el periodo de las mujeres. Por eso aparecieron unas imágenes ahí como de, de úteros y fue debido a eso. Period. Sí, Escobar. Teacher, ¿y cuando ocupamos el dat? El dat es cuando nosotros typeamos. Ahorita, estoy, que estoy escribiendo aquí, typing, es dat. O más que todo para cuestiones como referencias de link. Ejemplo, cuando leemos una dirección online, un, un ur, es dat. Entonces viene siendo como el punto y seguido. No. El DAT solo se ocupa en cuestiones de informática y el period es para lo demás. Ah, ok, dicho. Es como, es como algo virtual. Así te lo pongo más fácil. El period lo puedes poner donde vos quieras. El DAT solo en la computadora. Y más que todo cuando te referís a direcciones, correos electrónicos o vas a estar haciendo algún, alguna programación. Ok, continuo. Sandra Cisneros. Vamos a leer a mis Cisneros. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. There is a... Rider. Ah, right now I can see something. We already skipped something really important. I know it. This one. Okay, guys, it, before that, the final test, I would like to show you about there is and there are. And the other one, yes, just that. With that, we will finish. Just give me a There is and there are. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa there is y there are? Ahí. Uh -huh. Ahí. There significa ahí. Pero existe there is cuando ocupa, hablas de algo singular. Y there are cuando hablas de algo plural. Es the next, is the same one. For example, this is an English class. There are a lot of cars in the parking lot. También podemos ocupar there is para uncountable nouns. 
there is a lot of water on the floor. There is a lot of sugar on the truck. Another example, there is a book on the back, on the desk. There are books on the desk. Si se fija, cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque el, su, el sujeto del cual hablamos cambia. Plural, singular. Again, there is singular noun. There are plural noun. Y recuerden, las mismas estructuras son para que en todas las otras sentences, para negativo como para question. Primero el auxiliar viver, then the subject, and after that, the complement. Ya casi es hora, guys. Así es que en este caso, le enviaré a ustedes ahorita. Y quiero que todos Exacto, Andrea Tú muy bien Perdón que no, no le esté viendo el chat No acostumbro a verlo mucho Pero sí, esos son Ahorita les voy a enviar a ustedes Voy a dejar de compartir Y necesito que todos por favor me confirmen Que les va a llegar el siguiente documento Este documento incluye Todas las imágenes que fueron asignadas Para eh, permítanme, sí, para la clase o las secciones 1 y 2 del libro. Ahí he juntado las que ya le he enviado, junto con otras que son completamente nuevas para ustedes. Permítanme. Permítanme que te guarde esto. Just give me a second, guys, que esto se trastorna. Aquí está. Eunice, te voy a enviar ahorita el link del grupo para que tú te puedas agregar y lo haces ahorita. Los demás, por favor, eh, confírmeme que han recibido eso. Confirmado. Perfecto. ¿Y qué dicen los demás? Yes. Perfecto. Remember that PDF will help you a lot to answer uh, to answer all the assessment that you have. Muy bien, guys. Eh, con ese PDF le va a ayudar mucho a responder todos los assessments que tienen. Por favor, háganlo entre ahora y mañana si pueden terminar las lecciones 1 y 2. Sería perfecto. El día, la otra semana comenzaremos con la número 3. Y si este, algo que les aplaudo es que ustedes, ustedes están a, a tiempo. Comenzaremos, pues, a cubrirla en ese momento. Bueno, ¿tiene alguien algo que agregar antes de irnos? Señor Carlos, ¿tiene algo que decir? Eh, quería saber con respecto a esto de la entrega de las sesiones, ¿tenemos hasta el día de mañana para, para finalizar hasta la sesión 2? Es la primera semana, las semanas terminan el día domingo. Ustedes pueden hacerlo a su ritmo, como les he dicho, pero... Hasta el domingo favor. tenemos entonces... Sí. Ah, ok, muchas gracias. También estarán mis compañeros, pues, uh, verificando eso. Si se fijan, hay otra persona aparte de mí en el grupo, la cual también se encarga de estar verificando y monitoreando las clases. Eh, ustedes, denle con todo, veo mucho potencial en ustedes. Y lo puedo asegurar que al finalizar este año van a estar muchos de ustedes hablando inglés. Y los que, bueno, todos estarán hablando inglés. Unos probablemente ya estén trabajando de esto. Otros sentirán que han avanzado mucho y que ya les faltará poco. Pero tengo fe en todos ustedes. Por lo tanto, 
voy a estar enviando hasta el día lunes por la mañana algunas imágenes relacionadas sobre la clase que se dará el día lunes. ¿Otra pregunta? Señor Carlos. Eh, más que todo, una recomendación eh, quería hacer si ¿qué nos aconseja para ir, digamos, mejorando la pronunciación, la fluidez, en recordar palabras y todo esto? Muy bien. Conforme a la pronunciación, uno de los eh, o no, si sí, uno de los tips que más se da es que escuches o veas en línea, series, si tenés una plataforma o tenés compras una película que sea subtitulada. Y si es ser posible, poner los subtítulos en inglés. ¿Por qué? Porque al momento que ellos van pronunciando, tú vas leyendo en inglés. Y puedes ver que se escribe diferente y cómo se pronuncia. Y repítelo. Si tú te gusta escuchar canciones y cantarlas, hacelo. Para vocabulario, lean. Lean mucho. Lean, lean, lean. El vocabulario lo va a encontrar leyendo. En series lo pueden encontrar también, pero la mayor cantidad rica en conocimiento, rica en abundancia numérica, son los libros. Lean. Eso. Y recuerden, nacimos para pues, también equivocarnos y por equivocarnos llegamos a hacer grandes cosas. Edison al su número sí, mil inventó la bombilla y lo logró después de fracasar 999 veces. Podemos hacerlo nosotros. Bueno, ¿alguien más tiene algo que agregar? Solo una consulta rápida. En la contracción de there is not, eh, ¿nosotros elegimos o hay alguna regla para poder decir there is not o there isn't? Eh, eso, David, es más que todo depende con la persona que hables. Imagínate que estás con una entrevista de trabajo. Es súper profesional todo. No vas a ocupar una contracción porque las contracciones las ocupas con tus personas cercanas, con familiares o amigos. Es la única regla que se da. Contracciones se ocupan. Amigos y familiares. Personas que tengas confianza. Pero la, los demás no. Son cosas completamente profesionales. Thanks. ¿Alguna otra consulta o duda? No. Muy bien. No, teacher. Buenas noches, jóvenes. Descansen. Se les aprecia y pues ahí estamos en el, en el WhatsApp. Veamos. <ríe> no se preocupe, Andrea. Todos nacimos para equivocarnos. De ahí adelante. Buenas noches, guys. Provecho que no nos van a comer. Adiós. Good night. Good night.